so coming to Melbourne, obviously it's a much bigger city compared to Cork. It's, um, you know, was it four million versus you know, 300,000? So it's certainly in terms of scale, it was uh, a lot different. I like the way Melbourne is set up with the individual suburbs um, kind of collectively around the big city. So each of the individual suburbs, they do have a nice feel to them. Uh, so at the moment I'm living in kind of St Kilda slash Elwood, so that you go into Coles and you kind of go, man, I'm back in Cork. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of Irish people uh, definitely in St Kilda at the moment, which is, which is good. In terms of research focus areas, um, definitely falls within advanced materials and devices. So generally what we do is develop new materials with more often than not with a specific application in mind. In terms of that, you can develop water treatment, um, removal of contaminants from water, um, and also probably the other main area would be lithium metal batteries, using particular solvents called ionic liquids to improve safety, uh, durability, lifetime um, of that particular technology. Uh, one of the attractions with RMIT is that it is a smaller university uh, compared to some of the, obviously the bigger ones here in Australia. Um, so the opportunity to set up your own way of doing research, your own research group, uh, is definitely attractive. Kind of do it the way you want to do it. Um, you kind of set things up the way you think should be um, correctly done in terms of your research direction, how the research is carried out, um, also the type of students that you want to get involved in that research and also who you collaborate with. So like that freedom of choice to carry out good research uh, was definitely a big attraction. So it's one of the biggest things I did notice was the collective use of instrumentation is particularly useful. Everyone in the school has free access to this high-end instrumentation. And it's not always the case in other places that you do research, you know, there's individual budgets for machines and things like that, so all this very good equipment certainly makes research a lot easier. So I've been fortunate um, to actually win an Australian Research Council Future Fellowship. Having the VC Fellowship before that certainly helps in winning those type of fellowships later on. Um, again, you're judged on your track record a lot with those externally funded research fellowships. So demonstrating that you'd actually won one competitively uh, with the university certainly aids in um, achieving uh, those outcomes later on. 